I was coming towards the creepy outhouse and I come up on a tent. I don't know if anybody's in there. Oh Lord. Pop. Are people allowed to camp here? I never knew. Maybe it's just an innocent thing. There's a creepy outhouse straight ahead. I don't know, it's a, always a bad, bad vibe over here. I'm not here to hurt you, pal. I'm just going through. Dude, you picked up a you picked a really good place to camp. Right against this thing. You see it? Oh I saw him just nothing. Sorry. Okay, I was right about hearing the voices over there, the creepy outhouse. It appears that somebody actually lives in there. He was sitting right outside. He told me he lives here. And I'm like, mm. bless your heart. There's two guys here. One's probably helping him out. He's looking at me. No, you see him? I feel strange about just taking this picture. It makes me think of those people I knew in the other place. Okay, I just came from that creepy outhouse from down there. <sighs> what I saw was very unusual. Although at the same time, it's probably quite um, expectable for a day like this. I mean, this day and age. This, there was a man living in that creepy outhouse for God knows how long. And I'm like, I ended up in here in the back road, the dirt path. And I'm going through all these puddles and mud. And I'm like, what in the world am I doing? But I just couldn't turn myself, couldn't bring myself to turn around and go back. Anyway, this is where... I always started the videos before. This is the paved path. And I'm going back home and I'm through with this place for tonight. I'm not going past there until further notice. See ya.